Howdy. Um, so this video is about perceptual spectacles. These little pairs of glasses that we wear that we slowly build up the lenses as we are conditioned uh, from being a child. And um, sometimes people are able to take off their perceptual spectacles and they see the world completely differently after that. And so for me, I was able to take off my perceptual spectacles that I had been had been reinforced and I didn't even know I had them on until about two years ago. Um, and there's certain things that can trigger uh, a time where you can take off perceptual spectacles or you're, you're able to uh, put on somebody else's perceptual spectacles. Um, this book right here, Ishmael by Daniel Quinn, helped me do that because it's all about um, identifying the framework of your glasses like implicit in every glasses the, the lens lets you see a certain way and there's there's certain implicit things implicit notions in the lenses that you use that's the framework that you project onto the world and so all different people have different perceptual spectacles that they have on. I mean, there's like the Western science perceptual spectacles and implicit in those perceptual spectacles is that the world is reducible to its parts and the world is mechanistic. So you can, you can break things open and figure out the parts and that will let you figure out the whole, which is sometimes applicable, but it doesn't always work. Um, there's some things that have emergent properties that are not irre they're not reducible and also implicit in the Western science view is that um, is that everything is replicable you can have the exact same scenario setting person experiment you can redo the same experiment when it seems that you may not be able to recreate the exact same setting because it's a different it's a different space and time um, and also implicit in the Western perspective is that you can you can have a completely objective view when some pe when a lot of people say that that's impossible because everything is interconnected and it's always going to be subjective you can't have like an objective view that would mean you'd have to extract yourself from the universe or something like that um, so and I mean pretty much most people have these perceptual spectacles on or they 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 didn't have they had perceptual spectacles on and then they read a book and now they have that books perceptual spectacles on and I think it's important that we we try as best we can to keep trying on other pairs and see where other people are coming from because right now there's a lot of people who have taken off their original pair and then they just put on another pair and now they're sticking hard to that pair and um, and it's creating a lot of conflicts because there's all these people like oh yeah I woke up and this is what I figured out but you woke up and that's what you figured out but that's wrong because I I'm right you know <laughs> It's just, uh, it's just like a lot of conflicts on different people's views. And I mean, a lot of people say they have the right answer, but I mean, a lot of people's right answers are conflicting. And I mean, maybe they're simultaneously both right or something like that. But um, I think it's important that we, we try to even these new perceptual spectacles that we have on try and see what it would be like to to not have them on because as Derek Jensen says I mean if you perceive a tree if you see a tree if you see any tree and you see dollar bills then you're going to treat it one way if you see a tree as just a tree a living thing you see all trees as just living things then you're going to treat them another way and if you see each individual tree is that specific tree with that specific tree's feelings and scenario or whatever, then you're going to treat it another way. 
So it just shows that how we how we perceive the world um, affects how we are going to act within the world, and so it's it's crucial that we we question how we perceive the world. So that's my thoughts for today. I uh, I'm ready to have a swell day. I hope you are too. So peace.